What's up, Internet? My name's Will. I'm here to play some video games, and today we're going to play some Mario Maker. Hooray! Uh, oh, is that? Hi, Gray. So, yeah, um, we're not going to do any big, like, long Let's Play series games this week, uh, as I will be going on vacation starting on Saturday, and I will be gone for a week. Great, thank you for hosting my stream. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's what's going on with me. Uh, so we're just going to do a bunch of one-offs this week. Uh, today we're going to play some Mario Maker. I might switch to something else like Tetris or maybe even Pac-Man 99 because I haven't played that on stream yet. Uh, or I might just talk about anime for a while because I kind of want to do that because the new season has started. So yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, and yeah, tomorrow I'll play some Monster Hunter. And then uh, Thursday, I will play some Hades. But for now, oh. Okay. Hello, Lemon. Fortunately, I can't stick around. Gotta go hang out. Oh, that's fine. That's cool. T uh, tell Josh I said hi. Uh, er. Okay, the system is now updating. Give it a sec. Uh-huh. Hopefully the host... Uh, yeah, no, the host will stay on. Uh, like, my... Uh, I've had to like leave and come back to some of your streams and it still is hosting you, so you should be good. You don't have to be here. Oh, thank you for wishing me a happy Mario time. I appreciate it. Okay. Speaking of the Nintendo Switch, um, take it everyone saw Nintendo's announcement today about the Nintendo Switch OLED model. <laughs> oh boy that was definitely an announcement today wasn't it yeah it's dumb I mean here's the thing and Gray I think you'll get this it's exactly what they did with the DS they're releasing a bunch of different upgrades and different versions of it expecting people to buy them Oh, you totally saw... <laughs> Don't worry, Lemon. It's okay if you didn't see it. Uh, we'll post a link to it in the Discord. Um, but yeah, Nintendo announced the Switch OLED edition. This is the so-called rumored Switch Pro. It's not a Switch Pro. Um, oh, it's connected there. Next, they'll give the Switch backwards compatibility with the Game Boy printer and an update coming in 2028. That would actually be really... That would actually be kind of rad. <laughs> if they did that. <laughs> um... No, but the Switch OLED, it's a uh, it's got a slightly bigger screen. It's seven inches instead of six point one. Um, it comes in gray. Uh, actually, now I said I want it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's 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 gray in color. Uh, has some fancy gray Joy Cons, or you can get the red and blue ones. Okay, bye, gray. Thanks for stopping by. Um, it also comes, the dock also comes with an Ethernet, uh, port, which is nice, because the regular Switch doesn't have one. I don't know why I pointed back that way when it's written in front of me, but, like, I guess it's because my home dock is back there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, it looked cool at first when I was like, oh, wow, a new Switch, and then I actually watched the trailer and looked at the specs and was like, oh, I don't need this. Game. Yes, Lemon, it's like, it's, it's, it, it looks, <laughs> it looks kind of like an iPad. That's actually a really good comparison. <laughs> uh, um, I'll ask Kaylee to post a link to the trailer later. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of look through stages. Final stage. Ooh, that sounds fun. We might, well, I think we're gonna start with the final stage. Finally, the Nintendo iPad. Yes, exactly, Waluigi. That's exactly what it is. Um, it also has better speakers. Uh, and it uses an OLED screen to make everything look better. Uh, it doesn't really improve anything on the docked side, though. Which, I primarily play docked, so it doesn't have anything interesting for me. It's also 340... It's also 340... Not $50... $350. Which is $50 more than a standard Switch. And, like, I get it. It's just a pricier upgrade. And, like, here's the thing. I don't think it's for people like me who already own a Switch. 
It's actually for people who have still not gotten a Switch yet. Hey, you know what? That's fine. There's a market for that. Uh, But, like, yeah, it's not something I'm really going to go out of my way to get. Uh, I'm just going to focus on trying to get a PS5 for now. Uh, Now, ability switch fans. Does this mean you fix the Dracon Drift? Look, better speakers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It also didn't fix Dracon Drift, so... Oh, he's down there. Okay. Let's go around. Yeah. That's the other thing, is they didn't really fix any other issues with the Switch. Like, the Ethernet ca the Ethernet port is nice. But other than that, it's like, there's still a lot of issues with the base Switch. But again, it's not really meant for people who already own a Switch. It's kind of like whenever Nintendo released uh, the DS several times over. Because, uh... If you're like me, then you remember uh, the original Nintendo DS, then there was the DS Lite, and then the DSi. I had all three of those, but to be fair, the DS Lite was actually an upgrade for my regular DS, while the DSi is borderline a different console entirely. So, yeah. Oh, we did it. But also, like, the same argument can be made about, like, the 3DS, where they released a bunch of different versions of that, which we are all familiar with that. You got the 3DS. You've got the 3DS XL. You've got the 2DS. You've got the 2DS XL. You've got the new Nintendo 3DS. The new Nintendo 3DS XL. I can go on and on about this. In fact, I have my... Hang on. I'm just going to show it off real quick. Ta-da! It's got a Charizard on it. I got it for the 20th anniversary of uh, Pokemon. Uh, whenever they were selling that specific DS. That was the year Sun and Moon came out, I believe. And now we're at the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Wow, time flies. Uh, anyway, that's speed... That, that's stage of Sun. It wasn't really a speed run. We had a lot of time to clear that. Hmm. Oh well. It was neat. Jump, hit, flunk. No idea what the... Oh, <gasps> they have a ninja hat? Oh, I want a ninja hat. Oh, that's so cool. Love that. Okay, let's do it. Just boo, please, only if you like it. What? Uh, okay. Did you ever want to visit any of the world? Um... Not particularly. I mean, my dad worked at the World Trade Center in the 90s. Uh, he was actually, um, in the, uh, bombing of, uh, not, well, like, in the, uh, bombing of 93, uh, way back when there was, like, seven towers. Uh, but no, I've never really had, I, I, like, I have, I've been in New York several times myself anyway. Chances are I've probably been in one what I was in one of the World Trade Center bu buildings back in the day, I guess. Uh anyway. What was I talking about? Okay, that was close. Oh, I see. I see what this whole stage is going to be like. I'm not looking forward to this. I might quit this stage early. Uh cuz I'm terrible at these. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the Switch OLED. It's going to come out October 8th, the same day as Metroid Dread. That's on purpose. Get a game, a console, and also an amiibo. Aw, oh, man. We almost made it that time. If the whole stage is like this, I will probably quit. Alright, yep, there we go. Fuck! Oh, I've been to New York several times, yeah. Uh, I was actually born in New York. Uh, upstate New York, specifically. Uh, yeah, I lived there till I was about three years old. Uh, then we moved to my mom's hometown in Missouri. 
That's right, you can stand on those. Uh, I have family in New York, so that's why I've been so many times. Uh, my sister currently lives there. Uh, she works there, does stuff in fashion. My grandparents are up there, along with my aunt. Oh, that was easy! Okay, cool. Uh, where are... What all have I done in New York? Not much. Uh, I've mostly been to New York City. Because that's what you do. Uh, I like going to the Nintendo store there, because it's pretty neat. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the visits were good, though. Um, got to, we'd get to see family and stuff. Uh, I haven't been to New York in... Let's see, I think last time I went was 2017, so four years. Wow. Yeah, uh, I need to go visit my grandparents sometime. I just, I was actually planning to last year, but then, um, uh, the pandemic happened. And that put a wrench in any traveling. By chance to save Toys R Us, would you? Uh, I get, yeah, probably. I never actually went to Toys R Us a whole bunch, so I don't have, like, a bunch of fond memories of it, I guess. Or any memories of it. I remember going to the one in Times Square, and that was neat. We went on the Ferris wheel a couple times. There's a giant, there's a whole floor dedicated to candy. Uh, I found a box of nerds the size of a cer- that was, like, a, basically a cereal box. That was pretty cool. Didn't keep it, because, uh, that would just destroy my teeth. Um... Okay, this is an auto Mario, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do a lot of, like, easy courses. Just for the record. Um... Because, like, I just want to have a chill time. I like that that warp pipe goes nowhere. Oh. Whoops. Wee ha! Oh my god. That was a lot. Holy cow. Hmm. Uh, let's exit that. I still have a frog hat. I don't know how to get the ninja hat. Is one one and new Super Mario Bros. U. Oh, that's cool. The floor is lot. Okay, here's the question though. Is it nice? Okay, is it just a recreation of that level, or is there a twist? It's probably just a recreation of the level. It says art, so I think it's probably just a recreation. Which, if so, that's some great dedication. Fairly familiar with this level. I have played uh, New Super Mario Bros. U quite a few times. Oh, wait, this is a recreation of level 1 1. Oh, I got confused. But in the new Super Mario Bros. U style. Oh, that's my bad. Okay. Forgive me, I'm an idiot. <laughs> no, that was cool. I liked that. Everything was exactly where it needed to be. I'll give that a like. Jealous of all these people throwing ninja hats. Probably have to do something very specific to get that hat. Also, will get up later. Uh, don't touch the power-ups. You're gonna have a bad time. Mega Lavinia starts playing. <laughs> oh man, that's great. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I don't think I'll get the Switch OLED. I just don't need it. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Can I restart? I get the feeling I'm going to have to start over. Alright. Oh! Oh my god. Oh. I see. I probably have to stay as small Mario this entire time. Oh fuck me. Oh. Lemon, thank you for contributing to the Henry Stickman Challenge Challenge. 
Ah! Ah! Oh lord. Oh god above. What did I do to deserve this? I'll tell you what I did. No! No! I fucked it up. Well, you know what? I'm gonna see what the rest of the level entails. Fuck this. I don't care anymore. I just don't want to see where everything is. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm missing a key too. Oh shit. All right, we're gonna exit because that's not gonna happen. Hmm. Ooh, remake of Donkey Kong. That's pretty cool. Soon. <laughs> You're excited about that, huh, Lemon? Uh, yeah, soon. Okay, that's clever. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, we did it. I win! Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba <sighs> that was cool. Um, excuse me. Coins galore. Okay. This is gonna be like something similar to New Super Mario Bros. 2 where there's just coins everywhere. All 91 coins. Interesting. Okay. Okay, I'm going down the pipe. How am I supposed to get that? Hmm. I wonder if this does something. Oh, okay. I see now. Okay. Come on. You ghastly ghouls. Alright. Ah, I see now. Do I have to wait for these tornado things to come over here? Come on. Come on, tornado things. Follow me. Yeah. I don't think I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but I've actually traveled across most of the uh, continental U.S. Uh, I used to. I think I mentioned this before, but I used to be in a uh, singing youth group that would travel across the country and sing at churches and stuff. Uh, Gray was in it with me. Uh, they were actually in it before me, so. 
Uh, they were in it uh, for a longer time than I was. Uh, I went on three trips with them. Uh, one to New York and back. One to Florida and back. And one to Canada and back, actually. Um, and we would stop at like a bunch of different places on the road. It would be like a, a tour is what it was. It was pretty cool. Uh, that group I was in actually uh, turned 50 last year. There's going to be a big celebration for it, but pandemic. Oh, this is this is one of the story mode levels. Oh, that's cool. All right, let's check this out. That's fun. Okay, I've had my fun. I see now. It's not a story. Mo it's not a level from story mode. It's the actual story hub. That's clever. That's very clever. I can appreciate that. Okay, we're done here. Ba 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 da ba. Ba da ba da ba. Ah, uh, yeah, they predicted Game Builder Garage. I haven't gotten that game myself. Uh, more because, like, I don't think. I'm not. I'm not good at building games necessarily. So I feel like it would be a waste in my hands, but I do want to play all the cool games that people are making. So who knows, maybe I'll end up getting it. Just to try out other people's stuff. It is only $40, which is nice. Because that means it's not as expensive as like a typical AAA Nintendo game. Uh, so who knows? We'll see. Uh, uh, okay. Welcome back. That was Kaylee. She just came back from a walk. Boomerang. Yeah. Let's see what, what what's so fun about boomerangs. Oh, by the way, uh, Grace says hi, but they couldn't stick around because uh, they were hanging out with Josh tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Aha. What's that? Okay. Oh, that Koopa is trapped. Got him. I don't. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. I'm I'm going to restart because I feel like I messed up something. Hmm. Right, got a boomerang. Uh 
Oh, I see where I messed up, guys. I did a no no. Okay, there we go. All right, we didn't mess it up this time. That Koopa's lucky. My boomerang just barely avoids him. Uh. Did I take away the coins again? Did I mess up again? I might have messed up again, guys. Oh shit. Can't wait. Maybe it'll reset if I do this. I see what I'm supposed to do now. Oops! My bad! Well, very precarious. Oh no, the Koopa's trapped again! No! Ah, it's still trapped. Okay, we're good. We're safe. Okay. I get what to do now. Ah! Wait, what am I supposed to do from there? Am I supposed to shoot the... I'm probably supposed to shoot the boomerang up there. Okay. I guess it's worth a shot. Hold left from the tube, you will slide wall jump. Oh, okay. Oh, hang on a sec. Alright, let's try that again. Wee, that's fun. I am really bad at Mario, guys. Okay, there we go. Don't know why I had, like, an accent there. Alright. Okay. No screw ups this time. We did it. We're in. Oh, it shot all the coins. Why do you need to keep him alive? I, I'm not trying to keep him alive. I'm trying to. 
It's not so much that I'm keeping him alive. No! Uh... It's not so much that I'm keeping him alive. It's more that like, I'm trying not to hit him into the coin because otherwise he will collect the coin. So I'm just trying to avoid accidentally hitting him into the coin. Do that. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. No! See, Lemon, that's what I'm trying to avoid. Doing stupid stuff like that. Okay. So anyway, there's a new anime season that has uh, started. That means there's lots of new anime to watch. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Not nearly as much as I scared myself almost grabbing that coin. Oh boy, that would have been bad. Thankfully, I can't go back. So I can't screw it up any further than I already have. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. This is going to require some tricky positioning. Hole. I seem to have nearly boned myself. Okay, we made it. Guys, we made it. We made it! We made it! Okay. Oh, sweet. Did it. Oh, this is just the... Oh, no. Oops. There we go. And back to that. Hmm. Just want to see what happens. Okay. Really at the very least, I can get rid of these spiky balls. If I need to. Now I've already got the key, I don't really need to get do anything about dry bones. He can just be there for all eternity. Shoot. Never mind. Shoot. Anyway, what was I? Oh, crud! Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Forgot I was on a time limit. Wait, where's the store lead? Oh, what? Uh, how am I?
Uh, how do I get? How do I get? Are you kidding me? Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, that's all right. I didn't need to do anything else. So yeah, let's talk about new anime that I'm watching. Uh, huh. Well, all right. World record. How long has this course been out? Because uh, it's very possible that's... Let's see, when was this published? It doesn't... Oh, there it is. It's June 28th. Oh, so not that long ago. Like, last week. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. I got a world record, guys. That's awesome. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, we speak right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but what anime am I watching? So there's a lot of continuing series that I've been wa that I'm watching, like stuff that's carrying over from the previous season, like My Hero Academia season five, Welcome to Demon School, Iruma Kun season two, Tokyo Revengers season one. Those are all stuff from the spring season that are continuing on in this. There is returning stuff, such as that time I got reincarnated as a slime. Season 2, part 2. It's the second part of the second season. Yeah. As well as, uh, My Next Life as a Villainous, All Routes Lead to Doom. Uh, season 2 of that. It's a really funny, like, isekai, uh, um, like, uh, comedy. It's, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Um, what is stronger than family? I don't know. Uh, Goomba stairs. Oh, this looks fun. I like looking for fun horses like this. Uh, what else was I talking about? Yeah. Um, so yeah, watching that, uh, this Kobayashi's Dragon Maid season two starts up soon. I'm very excited about that. Hmm. That didn't work. All right. <laughs> okay. That was great. Oh my god, that was that was ridiculous. Um uh so I mentioned those. Um, I'm trying to think of new stuff that's I'm gonna be watching. Bunk. Uh, what's some new stuff I've been watching? Okay, there's a couple of new shows we're watching. Uh, there's a new anime from Studio Bones, makers of My Hair Academia anime, Soul Eater, uh, Full Metal Alchemist, and Full Monks of Brotherhood, Cowboy Bebop, Space Dandy, all of that, all of that good stuff. All those great action-packed shows. It's called The Case Study of Anitas. It's an adaptation of a manga. Um, a friend of mine was really looking forward to it because she's kept up with that manga. I checked out, like, the first couple chapters of it back in the day. Did not get back into it, mostly because it was monthly, so I kind of forgot about it. But, um, but, um, I am, we started watching the first step, we, Kaylee and I watched the first episode the other day. It was pretty interesting. About vampires. So, you know, that's always fun. Uh, other stuff that we just started watching today, um, there is this one. It's called Life Le Life Lessons with Ura Uramachi Onisan or something like that. Hang on, I gotta I gotta look up the title of this one because this might be my anime of the season because it's so dumb. Uh, Life Lessons, yeah, Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. So it's about this guy Uramichi. He uh works on like a children's uh TV show. He's like, uh, like something a la, like Sesame Street or something like that, you know, where you have like the adults who, uh, where you have like, um, adults interacting with kids and trying to teach them lessons. And there's also mascots, I guess, uh, Blue's Clues could be a good comparison. Cause there's like an old guy, there's like an adult in that who, uh, pretends to be a kid anyway. Uh, so the thing about him is that Rimichi He's like 31 years old and is absolutely broken and done with life. So mostly whenever he talks, 
He's like, all right, kids, how are we doing? We're doing great. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, good for you because I am in crippling depression and I think I'm going to go insane today. All right, let's sing a song. And it's just stuff like that. And it's brilliant. Like at one point, uh, there's a kid that falls over and hurts his uh, knee. And uh, Udamichi just goes to the kid is like, oh, oh. Are, are you okay? Hey, where'd Urabichi and his will to live go? It's never coming back. You know why? Because when you're an adult, uh, you can't just play peekaboo and everything will be okay. No, it's just going to be bad. It's just, it's just messed up stuff like that. And there's the other actors that are involved with the kids show are also like a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> Like he's got a couple of uh, juniors from his from where he went to college. Uh, there's a washed up idol singer who's done every kind of uh, musical career that she can, and then um, another singer, like a music, a like musical actor, who has the sense of humor of a third grader. So yeah, that's that's all fun. Uh, it's available on Funimation exclusively, so please go check that out. It's hilarious. Jeff versus Chaos. Chaos! Is this in reference to uh, Fire Emblem? Or no, Final Fantasy. Why the fuck did I say Fire Emblem? It's because of Grey. I've been watching their streams. I didn't even have time to react. Yeah, I'm not going to do this one. Um, all those other anime I mentioned are... Uh, well, uh, Irimakun and Tokyo Revengers are both exclusive to uh, Crunchyroll, but all the rest of those are available on both uh, Crunchyroll and Funimation, so... Wait, what is what called? Uh, the anime I was talking about? Um, Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. That's... You are a... M I C H I space O N I I S A N. It's hilarious and it's on animation. Uh, other stuff that we started checking out. Um, uh, also, the case of Vinitas, by the way, is also exclusive to Funimation. I'll probably point that out. Um, I can't think of what I was going to say. Oh! Uh, one of the other shows we checked out today, that we checked out today, uh, it's called The Duke of Death and His Maid. And it's this, like, uh, rom-com where, uh, you have this kid, he's the Duke, and, uh, he has been cursed. You see, everything, every living thing he touches will die instantly, and it sucks. So his mom sends him to live in a villa out in the middle of a forest. Oh, you Googled it and he looks dead. Yes! Yes, he does! He's super dead inside and it's great! Oh my god. It's hilarious. Oh god. Uh, again, that's available on Funimation. Please go watch it and support the official release. Yeah. I don't know what to name this. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Oh my god, it's so good. So, like, anyways, um, so yeah, the Duke has to live in this, uh, for in this manor all by himself. Well, he's not alone. He has his maid, Alice, with him. And, uh, he has a butler, but I, we didn't get to meet the, but. I'm sorry, what the hell do we do here? Yeah, America doesn't have a set language. I'm just gonna wait and see what happens. Anyway, um, so yeah, uh, so he just has his maid, Alice, who helps him out, takes care of him, uh, but she also is constantly flirting with him, and she's, like, sometimes gets a little really close to him, even though he, like, should try and get, like, a reaction out of him. Uh, the thing is, they, like, are both in love with each other, but they can't do anything about it, because he can't touch her, or else she'll die. Invisible block. Oh, there might be an invisible block. I didn't think about that. Ah. Uh, God. Okay, that was close. 
All right. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. You could wear a whole bodysuit. That's true. <laughs> Uh, no, actually, he can't. Um, see, he actually wears gloves. If he, if he wears, uh, wi he, even if he wears gloves, uh, stuff will still die if he touches it. So he can't act, he actually can't find any way to, like, he can't touch anything. Like, the, it goes through his gloves. He also wears a ridiculously tall top hat, and I love it. Anyway, they, uh, the the point of the series is that they're trying to break the curse that is on the Duke, so that way they can live happily together, and with, uh, others and stuff, so the Duke can be reintegrated into society, because he deserves that, and he seems like a nice boy. I've only known him for one episode. Uh, there was one other show we checked out called The Detective is Already Dead, but that was probably the one we had the weakest opinion on, and I'm more just gonna wait and see, like, I'm going to apply the three-episode rule to it. If I'm not hooked by three episodes, then, uh, well, you know. Yes, Lemon, just check it out for the hat. Uh, it is CGI, and I know that can be off-putting to some people, but, like, it actually looks, it, it, the CGI actually works. Um, I will also warn you, there is some fan service in this, because the maid does like to tease the, the, the Duke, but it's uh, mostly harmless. It, it was just a, it was just a kind of an enjoyable kind of cute thing. Yeah, it's basically the anti King Midas. Well, that's not entirely true because Midas basically killed whatever he touched too. Except that they didn't die; they just turned into gold statues. Oh wait, wait! wait I want to go back to Cannon Canyon. I want to check out what that was. Then we'll go to the popular courses. What is the name? Uh, of the top hat one. Okay, the Duke of Death and his maid. Oh yeah, no, it's it, it has purpose. It has purpose. Oh uh, yeah, the Duke of Death and his maid. That's the name of that one. The other one I was talking about was um uh the detective is already dead, which again, Kaylee and I had probably the weakest opinion on that one. Uh I don't think it was bad. I think it's just that like its first episode was like 40 minutes long and we weren't prepared for that and while there was some really good animation in it, at one particular scene, uh, it felt kind of disjointed. I'm going to give it the three episode rule. If I'm not hooked by the third episode, then oh well. It wasn't meant to be. I'm going to be looking out for more anime to watch. Uh, I know there's a couple of good ones coming out soon, like... Oh god. Oh, I see. I see how the cannons work. That's clever. Um, let's see. There's uh, Beastars Season 2 coming out next week on Netflix, which I'm personally excited for because I actually really liked Beastars. Uh, so much so that I checked out some of the manga. All of the manga, actually. Uh, and also coming in August, there's a couple of things that I'm excited about that I'm interested in. First of all, uh, once again on Netflix, the a reboot of Shaman King. Ah! I've watched Fairy Tale. I've become immune to pointless. Oh, <laughs> uh, Lemon, that was the best response. Thank you. Also, Kill a Kill. So same. You know what? Yeah, that's like. Have you ever seen a bad anime? Oh, plenty of times. I've. Well, we I've seen so many, so much bad anime. Like, I, I honestly couldn't list it all. Not all of them are gonna be hits. I see how that works now. Uh, what was the worst one you've seen? The worst one I've seen? Oh, man. I have to think about that. Uh, well, we will get back to you on that question. I, I actually have to think about that. Oh, fuck. Well, how the hell do I get up there? Oh, I'm supposed to spin. Okay, right. I forgot spin jump is the thing. 
My bad, guys. I know how to play Mario, I promise. I'm just stupid. Anyway, oh! F anyway, the premise for that one I mentioned is that uh, this middle schooler, um, he, me, Zach, or something like that. I forget his name. Anyway, he has, like, the worst luck ever. Uh, terrible things happen to him all the time. That he, like, just... He's a trouble magnet. Uh, one day, he is... He gets forced in a situation where he has to, uh... Where he has to, um, uh... Take this anti shake case into a plane and... <laughs> Uh, the plane gets hijacked in the process, and he ends up becoming the assistant to this uh, detective whose code name is Siesta. That's all we know about her, and that, and she's also kind of weird. So, the show kind of. I'm gonna spoil a little bit, but, like, the show kind of leads you to believe that, like, oh, these are, like, the main characters. But apparently, the detective is already dead, and the rest of the actual story takes place four years after that when he is, when the main character is in high school and something has happened to uh, Siesta. He works with a different um, uh, detective, I guess? I don't know. Uh, again, this is going to be one where I'm just going to have to wait and see. But yeah, uh, Shaman King reboot. I'm excited about that. I really am excited about that. I love Shaman King. It's such a good series, and it deserves this reboot. Uh, the reboot's been happening, but, you know. Um, I'm a hopeless middle grounder, and thus I'm unable to come up with any names myself. Hmm. I can think of quite a few. Uh. Actually. Kaylee, what's the worst anime you've seen? That's a good point. Like, even if one you haven't finished, what's what's a bad one? There was that skate leading stars one we watched. That was. Oh, yeah, that... oh no, I jumped too soon! Oops. Stupid. Uh, skate leading stars, it's basically Yuri on. It, it's, it was just, just Yuri on Ice, but really bad. It was trying to do too many things at once. It was also a made up sport. Uh, team figure skating, which is. dangerous. Yeah, the skating one was super bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I've seen some pretty bad anime in my day because I've watched a lot more anime than Kaylee has. Oh, I watched Vampire Night once. I didn't watch it all the way through. I watched like two episodes and just had a terrible time. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Uh, there was this one, again, only saw two, like, two and a half, one and a half episodes. It was called Needless. It was... something. Uh, it was like a post-apocalyptic anime where people had superpowers and stuff. Uh... It was also a little heavy on the fan service, and not in the, not in the tasteful way, because, like, I am of the opinion that you can have fan service and not have it, like, completely ruin or oversaturate your work, and it just be there. Yeah, except that it, the thing is, the anime got so ridiculous that we stopped watching it, but I saw, like, voice actors, because this got dubbed, talking about it, and there was a gif that was shared by one of the voice actors where one of the, like, main rival characters is uh, skating, and he's, like, juggling swords. And it's like, okay, you're already doing some crazy stuff with your ice skates and stuff. Like, doing jumps and pirouettes and stuff. You don't need to add more blades to the mix. That is stupid and dangerous. Yeah, it's basically synchronized swimming, but skating. Uh, I watch both. I like both subs and dubs. It honestly depends. Oh, I got a thwomp suit. Neat. Yeah, no, I like both subs and dubs. Uh, generally, I'll probably watch subs first, uh, if it's available to me first, or, and then I'll watch dubs later, like, I did that with Demon Slayer. 
uh like because i remember we watched uh the sub for demon slayer as it came out and then i watched the dub for demon slayer uh kind of recently because i wanted to watch it before we went and saw the movie by the way uh demon slayer Kimetsu no yaiba the mo uh the movie mugen train is now available on funimation to go watch it's beyblade on blades <laughs> yeah it's beyblade on... no it was bad it was real bad <laughs> Uh, I didn't like the characters. They were all kind of eh. The animation was bad. Um, I need to get a sport anime ever. Pokemon battles with Yu-Gi-Oh logic. Oof, boy. <gasps> the Gravity Falls theme. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Kayla, thank you for contributing points to the Henry Stickman Challenge Challenge. Guys, this is the Gravity Falls theme. Fun fact about me, I love Gravity Falls. I've got the third journal down here. Just gonna jam out to this for a minute. Da, 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 da. I love that we're in a ghost house too, it's so thematically appropriate. Alex Hirsch is making a show on Netflix? Oh, cool! I'd watch that! Lo I love Alex Hirsch. He's He is a great human. He made a great series. This is so good. I'll talk more about anime in a second. Inside job. Interesting. I'll have to look that up. Yay. Uh, but yeah, Shaman King. I'm looking forward to that. Um, for those who don't know, Shaman King is a very, very old series. Not very old, but like 2000s old. Uh, it had an anime way back in the day. Uh, but it had an anime original ending because of reasons. And also, it was dubbed by four kids, so I'm looking forward to a new, fresh dub. It could be about espionage, yeah. Um, and finally, another show that I'm looking for- I'm interested in, but it's not going to be out until August. Uh, but I believe it's going to be on Crunchyroll. It's called, uh, The Great Jahi Will Not Be Discouraged. It's about this, uh, this demon. Her name is Jahi. She's like the second in command in the demon realm. The second most powerful demon right behind the demon king. Uh, she's super powerful and stuff, right? Some magical girl shows up, destroys the demon realm, destroys these uh, mystic gems that they need to keep themselves, give themselves power. And so uh, the great Jahi becomes a small child and is stuck in the human realm. So now... She goes on a quest to refine her mystic gems, all the while having to <laughs> work a job so she can uh, live in her like rundown four x four apartment. <laughs> uh, but no need to worry because the great Jahi will never be discouraged. It seems really cute and stupid and funny, and I I love gag series like that. Uh, but yeah, that's the anime that I'll be watching for this season. I think I mentioned all those uh, others before. Uh, I feel like some of them don't need as much of an introduction, but if you have questions, please be sure to ask me. Oh, this is cool. Uh, also, I'm going to say this. Uh, I'm going to promote these two shows as much as I possibly can, so listen up. Uh, first of all... No, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this right. Okay, um, okay, give me like two seconds. Okay. First of all, watch Odd Taxi. It is amazing. It is undoubtedly the anime of the year, for me at least. And there's a lot of good anime that's come out. This year. But no, go watch Odd Taxi. It's on Crunchyroll. It's only 13 episodes. It's so fucking good. Please go watch it. Also, go watch Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song on Funimation. Also very good. Um. Two very different anime, but they're both incredibly awesome and from start to finish. 
Not to mention, like, Odd Taxi, it does this crazy thing where it manages to have all these different plot threads, and it manages to connect all of them together and ties everything up in a nice bow at the end, and it's just so cool. It's also got one of the one of the coolest plot twists I've ever seen. It's, like, one that Kaylee and I guessed very early on, but we were like, both like, oh my god, it came true! And then as for Vivi, it's just this really cool, like, series where you get to see um, a lot of great action. Like, go watch that. It's it's awesome. Also, it brings up fun ethical questions about uh, the advanced technology and stuff. So, you know, that's always fun. So, yeah, go watch Odd Taxi on Crunchyroll and go watch Vivi Flora at Eyes Song on uh, Funimation. I have links to trailers for both of those in the anime channel on Discord. I'm also going to put up my own personal anime list on Discord, so if you guys want to watch along with me, you can. Okay, back to this. Sorry, I had to... This this was important. I, I, I cannot stress enough how badly everyone needs to go and watch Odd Taxi. It is criminally underrated. Alright, let's go catch some Pokemon, I guess. Oh, I see. I don't think we captured it as much as we killed it. Okay. Oh! Oh. Come on, Monty. Yeah, got it. Okay. Sorry y'all had to hear me rant for a second. It was of the utmost importance. Listen, if I don't talk about Odd Taxi, then I'm doing a disservice to Jeff Thew, the anime pope, aka the guy from uh, the Mother's Basement YouTube channel. And I, I don't want to disappoint him. He doesn't know I exist, but you know what? You, you get where I'm going with this. I'm just being stupid. Explode. Also, like, I'm just gonna say this. Don't... Don't look up anything about Odd Taxi. Uh, the less you know about it, the better. Uh, all you need to know is that, um... It's about a taxi driver. His name's Otokawa. And... You get to see all the different people he interacts with, and that's fun. Uh, also, they're all animals, so, you know. Uh, that's interesting. But, honestly, the whole animal thing doesn't actually matter. Okay. okay. Let's go, Yoshi. Come on. Oh. I left him behind. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Gotta catch them all, Pokemon! Oh, we're at a gym. Let's go. Did cat girls exist IRL? I don't know. Oh, it's the Pokemon theme. Probably not. Eh, I guess not. I don't know. I mean... Here... Okay, so... Here's my answer to that question. they just be targets for slavery. Yeah, okay, so here's my answer to that question. Technically, with VTubers, we already have cat girls. And also dog girls that... Go oh, Yubi Yubi, and are adorable. And also just like, you know, all kinds of other <laughs> different fun characters. Uh, but like, but no, 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 I, I, I see where you're going with that, Lemon. Ow. And itch. I got a bunch of bug bites. Uh, we were visiting my in-laws for 4th of July, so, uh, and they live out kind of far in the countryside, so, uh, there was a lot of bugs. 60 second run, very hard. 
let's do this one. Popular gimmick rush. Okay, this should be neat. Do 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 do. Uh. Oh! This is fun. This is very fun. Oh, I'm dumb. Wait, no. Wait a minute. Hmm. Ah, there it is. They would go through this door. They would also be targets of racism, yeah. Made it. Okay, now what? This is a fun course. Ah. And up. Oh. That was cool. So it's using all the different gimmicks of the game. What game did you buy? Oop. Little Wood. Oh, what's it about? Run. Oh boy, here we go. Holy cow, that was awesome. Ah, uh, it's a Stardew type game. I'm not... You know what? Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> Happy! Woohoo! That sounds cool. Alright, I'm gonna give that a like. That was really... Oh yeah, Kaylee, I got a world record earlier. Uh, on, on a course that I just played. <laughs> Yeah, apparently it just come out. Ooh, a Kirby course. <gasps> Kirby 64? Yes! Guys, I really like Kirby. Oh my god, it's the pop star. It is the pop star theme. It did say that. This is really cool. It sounds almost one for one like the one in the N64. Oh, that's so cool. I'm having a good time. Yeah, Kaylee, it says you're online, so. Gonna... That's an immediate like. Okie dokie. Let's see. Soul Koopa 2, Mario's. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's great. It's a Castlevania. I've never actually played Castlevania 
So this will be interesting. I, I will still probably appreciate this. Oh! It's not an auto course. Oh, fuck. This might be hard. We might skip out on this. I'm... You know, again, I don't play Castle. So, I don't necessarily... Well, now we have to. I know I've played, like, a, biz a a jillion of these, but, like, they're so good. Okay. Gotta do it for the meme. Gotta always do it for the meme. This is a fun one. <sighs> uh. Oh, right there, wacky voice lines in this LU. <laughs> So many of those. Uh, sorry that I seem to be getting tired. Uh, not sleep great last night, so it's part of it. We're gonna do one of these refreshing courses. Cause these are always fascinating. I could use the pick me. Show me all the fun colors. There we go. God. I have to ask, is this what it's like to, like, get high? Cause... Damn. I mean, oh boy, this is a lot happening. That was a shorter one than normal. That's okay, though. Oh my god. Wow, that was great. That was... That was fantastic. I loved it. I loved that. Woo! <laughs> Lemon, that's a great... That's a great emote for this situation. All right, let's do a speed run. We haven't done uh, so. Reach the goal after defeating at least sixty pokies. Excuse me. Ah, fuck. Well, at least defeating the pokies will be easier. Oop, too soon. Up, 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 bum, bottom. Oh. 
Oh my god. We're at the end. No! Man. Keep fucking up. We're gonna do this. Even if it takes us the rest of the night. Okay, there I don't need to dash, so... Shit! Hey, I do need a dash, but... There we go. No! A mist. Well, in that case, that joke should stay in your mind. Because, personally, I think if... Here's my philosophy on dark jokes. If you don't think you should... If you're already thinking you shouldn't say it out loud, then it's probably not as funny as you think it is. Oh crap! But uh, end there. Mm. I wasn't ready, so let's do this one more time. What? Oh, you've been watching uh, Loki on Disney Plus? Hey, me too. You! Why are you alive? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we've also been watching Loki. Uh, it's been pretty cool. Uh... But for anyone who hasn't been watching it or is waiting, uh, waiting for the uh, waiting for the series to end and catch up, we will not talk about spoilers here because that is, you know, just the nice thing to do. But yeah, Loki's been cool. I I really liked it so far. Um, yeah, definitely a lot more than. Falcon and Winter Soldier, which, frankly, I only watched two episodes of. I, I didn't like it. I also don't think it's as necessary to watch as this or WandaVision. It's going to have big implications for the future of the MCU. Uh, Probably no internet, because then you still can't look up stuff. All right, is this a, like a spot the difference thing? It is. <laughs> Grab those coins. All right. Ah, I got it, I got it, I got it. But yeah, no internet would be worse, because then you can't really do anything, like... And I have dealt with no internet before. Oh, take. Got it. Yay! Fast. Okay. Oh my god. Not even gonna care about the coins, because uh, that was terrifying. Oh Jesus Lord.
Mario, you stupid fat plumber. Oh, that was close. Tennis. Oh, snuck in there. Got it. Easy enough. Boop a dum. Da ba 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 da ba bum. Been told I'm too patient, so I guess that's one thing to my advantage. That's good. Auto. Wait, no. What did that say? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. Avoid. Okay, it said avoid. Oof. Clear! Hooray! Did it. I like those minigame ones. Those are fun. Yay! Gonna move this slightly away because it's. Hopefully, it doesn't darken my face too much. Yeah, it doesn't. Good. Oh, this was made for Mario Maker 2's second anniversary. Oh, that's cool. I like that. Don't move. Okay, let's do this. Reach the goal is Buzzy Mario. Okay. I don't have to move. That could be very easy. Oh my god. These are the courses that really impress me. These Rube Goldberg machine things. Like, I also love the courses that require you to have a lot of technical skill, but like, these are just fun. These are just really fun to look at. Holy cow, I can't even tell what all is on the screen. There's a lot of winged boos, I know that. Oh my god, this is so much fun. Okay. Got a key. They had the buzzy shell for a minute. Wow. Still going, huh? This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god. Na 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 na. Working on that. Yeah. Wow, well that was crazy. Just thinking about that maybe making that gives me a headache. Yeah. Oh, uh, I can't imagine what all has to go into making something like that. Uh Hmm. <sighs> Ooh, hopes and dreams? It's me, your best friend. Oof. That's a cool one to do. I don't think I've seen this one done before on here. All right. Under. 
Bop, bop, bump. Tail. Oh, no. Where does the S stands? Like in Tim's shoes. Hmm. Steamed hams. Uh, sure. Those are like burgers, right? I I don't actually watch... I've not really watched a lot of The Simpsons, so I only kind of vaguely know what that meme is like. And I've seen variations of it. Yeah, I like burgers. I really like burgers, actually. One of my favorite foods. This is really cool. Azrael. Oh. Thank you, person. Does the S stand for anything? You mean, like, uh, with an apostrophe? Like, the apostrophe S? Yeah, it usually, uh, it can be used for a different, a couple different situations. So, like, for the word it's, specifically with an apostrophe, it's an, uh, it's is actually an abbreviation of it is, or a combination of the two words. Um, that's how it is for a lot of things. Like, let's say, um, uh, um, Hey, I'll be right back. I'm gonna use an example. This, this is Kaylee's purse. Now, that, uh, I believe that that also works uh, for owner. I believe it's also used for ownership of like an item, right? Am I right about that? Apostrophe. Used, yeah, it's used for ownership, and it's also I meant more specifically for with a noun, but all right. Yeah, no, with nouns, it's usually used for, like, ownership. Like, in this case, like, uh, this is Will's Pro Controller, so that would, the apostrophe would be there. Um, it's also used in cases where, like, with, like, verbs and stuff where uh, you'll say uh, something is going to happen. But does it stand for anything? Like for it's, it stands for is. Uh, I don't think it stands for anything when you used with a noun, right? Uh, apostrophe, the apostrophe, actually. No, uh, yeah, it doesn't mean anything on its own. I'm consulting Kaylee because, uh, her mom's an English teacher, so, <laughs> uh, she would at least kind of know some of this better than I would. Yeah. But yeah, in the case of for nouns, it doesn't really mean anything. Yeah. <laughs> Mind blown. <laughs> uh. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, Happy Birthday Mario Maker 2 levels here. That's pretty cool. Let's check out this one. I'm glad people still make levels for this. Oh my gosh. So sorry, I'm very tired. English is weird. English is such a weird language. Missed again. There we go. Yeah, English is such a bizarre language. Yeah, I did. Go. 
Now what am I gonna get? Na 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 na. All right. Now oh, there's a thing down here. Gonna grab an extra hammer just because. What's gonna happen? Oh. Okay, okay. That was awesome. Uh oh. Okay. And one more time. One more time. Ba da bum bum, ba da ba da bum ba. Uh oh, stuck. No, you stupid boomerang. There we go. Now we're making progress. Where are that other door leads? Oh well. Boss. I have no choice, do I? Here we go. It's pom pom. This is kind of a cool boss fight. Damn. All right, one more hit and you'll be done. I guess that was the end. I do. Yes. Kind of surprised it wasn't Cat Bowser. Oh. Nice. Happy. Birth. Yay. Mario Maker 2. Ho ho ho. Yay! That was nice. I liked that. That was cute. Uh, actually... Um... Okay, there we go. Right back to this. I'm curious as to what this entails. Speed run, eight thousand. Okay. Probably already fucked this up. God!
Oh boy. 14 seconds to spare. All right. I'll take it. That was fun. Let's see. Ooh, the Mario Maker 2 theme. Okay, that's cool. I want to check that out. Do, 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 do. Do. I like this. I like this a lot. Na, 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 na. No. Oh. Run. Yay, we did it. Three one ups. Hooray. I am, I am tired. At Bandicoot. Ah, uh, never played Crash, so it's just not interesting as much as probably should. Uh, I think we'll do a couple more courses. Uh, if I remember correctly, I just played this. I feel like I just played this. You know what? It's probably just a different one. Uh, we already did Megalovania once. My daughter's first level. <gasps> Please be nice. She'll be so proud getting hearts. Oh my god! I'm gonna play this one. <sighs> I love that. Oh, that's adorable. Hearts. Heart made of coins. Alright. Looks like we get our choices here. Whoops. Uh oh. I can't get past these Goombas. Just gotta do this the whole way. Later, bitches. All right, now that's taken care of. Holy cow. I was not prepared for that. You know, that wasn't the thumbnail though, so I should have been. Ah, oh, crud. Oh, this was nice. I enjoyed that. That was cute. I hope they are a proud parent, whoever they are. <sighs> Luxury. Check this one out. All right, yeah, it's an auto course. Figured that. Oh God, Rocky Wrench. Oop. All right, that's gonna come in handy.
You bastard. Good, a second one. Oh boy. I would like to know what is making that shaking, because it's very distracting. Okay, there we go. Holy cow, this is a nightmare. Oh no! Wonder if I could have gone to the top of the train for me. Uh, it doesn't matter. It looks like this is the end of the train. Or not. I really don't like that effect. Oh, it's uh Which one are you? Lemmy? Dear Lemmy. Did it. I don't think I've ever spawn uh, ever appeared behind the goalpost before in uh, Mario World. That's new. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Oh, uh, the the creator of this other uh, me looks. I is that supposed to be Reno from Final Fantasy VII? It looks all kind of like a chibified Reno from Final Fantasy VII. Ugh. Okay. I think we'll do a couple more courses and then we'll probably call it quits for the night. Mostly due to the fact that like. I can I I could do this for the rest of the night, but like I'm also getting kind of tired because I didn't sleep well. <laughs> I gotta make sure I do that this week before I go on a nine-hour drive to Colorado. So yeah, this looks fun. It's a refreshing course. Okay, perfect. Refresh me. Refresh me. Got a bunch of keys. I know a lot of these are kind of the same, but man, they're fun. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, man. I'm not really sure what I just witnessed. <laughs> oh, the Squid Sister song from Splatoon. Okay, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to defeat Bowser. Innovative. Shout out to you. Oh god, they're me. It looks like uh the puppet the puppet from uh Five Nights at Freddy's too.
There we go. That was fun. Boss. You motherfucker. Grab this. Uh oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, they missed. Ah, oh, son of a... Okay, that's what I was supposed to be doing. Okay, I thought I was supposed to be, like, guiding the things in. Okay, now I understand what I'm doing. Fuck. Man, that was rude. Go, 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 go. Okay. All right, made it. Are we done? Yay. Hooray. Six cents. Oh, God. Uno mas. Hyper jump. Dual jump super high. Okay. Let's see what that's about. Let us see. Let us see. What? Well, I did jump super high. Huh. That was pretty cool, actually. Huh. Mind muddling man. <gasps> Fraught by Snowland. Like. Oh, like from Mario 64? Oh, that's cool. This will probably be the last one we do, and then I'll just spend the rest of this just talking about stuff. This is an auto course, isn't it? Hang on a sec. I, I thought I fucked that up.
Oh boy. Hooray. Brother, I did it. Okay. I'm probably going to call it there for the night. Like I said, I could probably keep playing, but honestly, I don't have the energy. Uh, I'm pretty drained. And frankly, I think a lot of this week is just going to be me kind of um, just kind of relaxing. Because, uh, yeah. Got a lot to do before I go on vacation. Oh, it's going to be a good time. Then I'll come back fresh and ready to play more video games. Uh, once I get back, Skyward Sword HD will be out. Now, that comes out next Friday. Uh, that'll be the day after we get back from our vacation. But I will not be playing it the day it releases. In fact, I might not be getting it the day it releases, because uh, that same day, Kaylee is getting her wisdom teeth out. So I will be taking care of her her that day so yeah um that's what's gonna happen uh then i will start up the skyward sword playthrough on let me check my calendar real quick uh yeah july 20th that'll be a tuesday and that's when we will start skyward sword hd and a week after that, Neo Tui comes out, and we'll do that. Gray will be here, and it'll be a lot of fun. Can't wait. Yay! I'm very exhausted. <laughs> oh. But yeah, uh, so yeah, this week it's just going to be a lot of one-offs. So today was Mario Maker. Hooray! Tomorrow, uh, some Monster Hunter Rise. Uh, Thursday, I'm thinking Hades. Either Hades, or if I decide to play something else, then it'll be that. I don't know. This could this subject the schedule is very subject to change. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Um, and then of course next week I will be gone. So yeah. Uh. Good times. Sorry, I'm just so tired. I'm not really. Sh I'm just kind of rambling. So uh, I guess we should probably wrap up here because um. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like that and you haven't already, you can follow me here on Twitch to get notifications when I'm live. And if you want to support me directly, you can subscribe. Oh, my microphone fell. Oh dear. Hang on a sec. Okay, there we go. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can also subscribe if you want to support the channel directly. Re really appreciate it if you do. And But don't feel like you have to. It's like it's not a requirement. <laughs> um, you can also follow me on all of my different social media channels here uh links to all of those in the chat now um i usual usually will post to discord first um that's where most announcements and schedule changes will go um not to mention uh there's a lot of other fun things to talk about on discord like we i mentioned this before but we got an, uh, an anime discussion channel we have a meme channel we have an art channel and also a game suggestion channel. So if there's any games you want me to like look at, and maybe you want me to play, uh, put them there. Yeah. Uh, finally, um, you can check out my YouTube channel for any archives, all my archives of all my previous streams. Uh, it's all there. Link to that in my Twitch bio. I'm gonna probably get a Nightbot command for that too. But yeah, that's gonna be uh, it for me. Um, and once again, thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Have a great night. And also, uh, watch Odd Taxi. Do it. Bye, everybody! <laughs>